KTSM 9 Sports with Sam Guzman. Sponsored by Glasheen Vias and Enderman Injury Lawyers. It's one of the greatest times I've had in my whole life. You know, I, the two years I've spent there, and it can't be any better. There's not one thing I can say. You know, New Mexico State gave me an opportunity. I gave everything to them, and they gave everything back to what we did. It's such a short time. Nobody can ever take that away from anybody. The Jerry Kill era at New Mexico State is officially over. After two years into his tenure as the NMSU football head coach, Jerry Kill is stepping down from the position and calling it a career as a college football head coach. ESPN's Pete Thamel was first to report Kill's departure. Sources later confirmed the news to KTSM. A big reason Kill is stepping down from the position is because as a man in his early 60s, he just didn't have much left to give as a head coach in the current college football landscape, raising money for NIL, recruiting players, the transfer portal, as well as the task of coaching a college football team took a toll on Kill the last two years at NMSU. As you heard earlier, Kill said it was one of the greatest times of his life, but the job was a demanding one for the 62-year-old. You can only work so many hours in the day. You know, I was wore out, and I'm not going to get ready to be 63 years old. And, you know, I feel like I've done everything a man can do in New Mexico State, and I've married the job, and, you know, it ain't an easy job. It's, it's probably two punch years I ever had, to be honest with you. I just wish I had more juice. In our conversation, Kill went on to say that he will never be a college football head coach again, Kill added. He would maybe take an analyst role and help a program out, but no more head coaching. Kill's name has been linked to a possible off-field role at Vanderbilt, according to 24-7 Sports. We'll have to wait and see what happens there. Let's take a look back at some of Kill's biggest accomplishments at NMSU. In two seasons, Kill won 17 games and went 1-1 one and one in bowl games. NMSU won the 2022 Quick Lane Bowl in Kill's first year at NMSU. This year, Kill and the Aggies fell to Fresno State in the New Mexico Bowl. Not the result they wanted, but still the accomplishment of back-to-back -back bowl berths was huge. It was something that had not been done since the 1959 and 1960 seasons. And of course, 2023 was another successful year for Kill. NMSU played 15 games and won 10 of them. The second most wins in program history. Jerry Kill won more games in two seasons than NMSU did in four seasons from 2018 to 2021 before his arrival. So what a turnaround by college football's fix-it guy. Now look, New Mexico State did everything it could to keep Kill. NMSU Director of, of Athletics Mario Mocha spoke with us today and told us boosters raised enough money for NMSU to offer Kill a new $1.1 million contract. Mocha said the contract was presented to Kill on Tuesday and on Thursday, Kill officially informed Mocha that he would not be accepting the offer and would be stepping down. I think it's important that Aggie Nation and you people, the media, realize the extent that uh, we went to um, make efforts to keep Jerry Kill. New Mexico State offered a guaranteed contract of $1.1 million. I would say this, working with Jerry in the past and now, money has never been the top motivator for him. I don't think money was an issue, and I don't think so, because we offered an unprecedented amount, and, and, and that was not the deciding factor. But Coach Kill has certainly stamped his mark uh, in the annals of Aggie football. Uh, I certainly wish it was for a longer period of time, but, um, you know, I don't get to make those decisions. As you heard there, NMSU tried its best to retain Kill. Kill was set to make $650,000 in 2024 through 2027. So $1.1 million obviously would have been a massive pay raise. Now, Kill's departure is a big hit to NMSU's momentum. It has gained after two winning seasons, but the Aggies must carry on. Today, New Mexico State announced that wide receivers coach Tony Sanchez will be the new head football coach. For the past two seasons, Sanchez has served as the wide receivers coach and played a key role in helping the Aggies put forth one of the most explosive offenses at the FBS level. This is the second time Sanchez will take on the role of head coach at an FBS program. Sanchez was the head coach at UNLV from 2015 to 2019 and won 20 games. Here's Mocha on his decision to hire eternally and name Sanchez as the 36th head coach in NMSU football history and Jerry Kill on why Sanchez is the right guy for the job. Launching a national search was not 
something that I thought was the right course. We certainly believe we found the right guy in a former Aggie, uh, Tony Sanchez. Tony's a very energetic guy. He knows the area. He's a Las Cruces guy. Went to school there. He's a high energy guy. All the things that I'm doing, he can do. Sanchez is familiar with NMSU and Las Cruces. He played his college ball in the 1990s with the Aggies. So NMSU has named one of their own as its new football head coach. So